This is a 1975 city car, 48 volt electric car. I'm honestly wondering what the heck I, what, what I did, got myself into this. This freaking strap, this is a lot of pressure on that thing. Could be worse. It could be raining. Oh wait. We were gonna fly up to go get the car and then you know try to figure out how to drive it back or get it started or something like that. However, uh, the weather as you see now, this is what's called a low IFR, instrument flight rules. And yes, I'm instrument rated. However, my airplanes are not equipped, nor am I. So I'm not going down that low. So even the real big jets are the only ones that really can land in this, and that's because they have an auto land type thing. Uh, yeah, none of my little airplanes have any of that stuff. Hey, morning, Mike. Morning. How you doing? You ready to drive for nine hours? Let's do it, man. Yeah? I'm always up for a drive. We got our, our chariot of weights right here. Well, one quick thing we got to do is we got to get you a better shirt. That's not going to fly. Man, All right. Let's see what we got. That's not going to fly. Did you? That's funny. <laughs> Airplane show. Even though today is not about airplanes at all. All right, so you're, you're not a grandpa, right? No, sir. Okay, you're not a grandpa, but if you were pilot grandpa, normal grandpa, only cooler with an airplane on there. The gumps check, that's always important. That is very important. And it was in his airplane that I just about crashed it and had to gear up. Uh, this is the 310 on here though. And then we've got, of course, clear prop. I mean, what can go wrong? And what could possibly go wrong? Which one do you want, bud? I will take the, can I get a clear prop today? Boom, good choice, excellent right. choice. Hey, for all you out there, go to save3310.com to get your merch today. Boom. Good choice. Thank you. You ready? I'm ready. Let's, Rock roll. And Let's roll. roll. If it all goes wrong, we got a 6x12 trailer that car will fit in. Not a car trailer, but it's got a ramp on the back and a. he says his golf cart can fit in here. We're assuming that that will be able to fit in here as well. Uh, oh yeah. That is... Oh, soft floor. Yes. This is gonna come along with a hook that's not attached. A couple of small straps. That's all you need right there, really. It'll be fine. Speaking of it'll be fine, that's gonna be our next shirt coming out. Red, it'll be fine. Because it'll be fine. Uh, and in pure Florida fashion, we have uh, a cocoa bar. And because Mike's with us, we had to get some Mikey's mix. And we got the old beef jerky, road trip essential. Some bugles, always good. What did, what did you get down here? Pop tarts? Pop tart. <laughs> pop. All right. Cherry. And then some cherry pop tarts, apparently. There you go. All right. Yep. And by the way, these are mini Pop-Tarts because Pop-Tarts used to be a lot bigger, but the bags are so much smaller now. That's true. They used to be this big. Yeah. Yeah. What happened? Inflation. No, deflation. Deflation. Yeah. <laughs> All right, back him up till his truck is just off the road. And stop, right there. Now that I'm back here for the second time, I'm honestly wondering what the heck I, what, what I did, got myself into this. This is a 1975 city car, 48 volt electric car yeah I don't, I don't actually know anything about these other than it was kind of weird looking has a great story for you i guess that's why 
The last time this car moved under its own power was over 20 years ago. And today, we're gonna give it a shot. See if we can't get it to do it again. Cause I mean, it's an electric car. It's got a got an electric motor. So it's not like you got bad spark plugs and gas and stuff like that. You can just get some, uh, get some amperage in here and that should be all it needs, right? And how hard could it be? And what could possibly go wrong? Also, fun side note, the guy did not have the key uh, to the ignition. It doesn't have door keys, the doors don't lock, but he didn't have the ignition key, so we might have to work on our hot wiring skills. It was that time in high school I'm not really proud of, but uh, we'll have to put those to use again. Manual labor. Oh, and we start with that. That, whoa, the whole ground just came alive with ants. Oh, man. Don't push on that. Look at that. The whole thing is just flimsy and it's broken right there and broken there and there. Oh my goodness. I learned that this car is based off of the club car golf cart. That's hence the dimensions and it's electric and apparently it was basically a golf cart underneath with this funny looking doorstop body on it. Okay. So yeah, there you go. So the internet world, I need your help because I don't know jack squat about this. So I need you to share this video with any real hardcore car nut guy that, or girl, that might know some more information about this. Also, I'm gonna need lots of help with other of these car YouTube channels because this is not my bag. And like detailing here, we're gonna need to find somebody to clean this thing up back to what it should be. So, you know, throw in the comments, tag them, hashtag whoever your favorite car detailer person is to help us get this thing cleaned and then fixed, right? We got lots of stuff we gotta do. And then we need to drive it, take it on a road trip somewhere. That would be fun. Hashtag them in the comments. Let me know who we gotta get and connect with to help with this project. This is sketchy. Like this thing is melted and burned. Oh, it's unlocked. Oh, here, go on in there. No, I ain't going there. Yeah, go on in there, Silas. I ain't going in there. <laughs> How do you roll down the window? You lift up. <laughs> That's it. That's the door. That. Oh my God. I'm telling you. Yes, that's what, they made like 2,500 of these or something of that, and they're 100% street legal. Trying to figure out, because they got a law about motorcycles and things under so many horsepower CCs, but they, they have to go over 45 to be on the highway or something like that, but. More than five brake horsepower. Yeah, six six horsepower on this bad boy right here and it'll only go like 35 miles an hour on a good day with a little tailwind what are you what are you supposed to do with this downtown i i guess i don't know retirement communities retirement communities what's the villages or something like that so the villages are up north sun city center is down south of us that's true so like okay i got a question here so i've lived in florida for three years three years public school and I've heard rumors of the villages and something about loofahs. Do you, do you have any idea what I'm talking about? If you see a loofah on a car in the villages, like, I guess it's something about some lifestyle choices. That's ugh, swingers, just a swinging. All right, well, come around here, follow me, because Mr. Mike there spotted something. And careful, this stuff is not 
I am so scared that there's gonna be something alive back here that... <laughs> nope, that's not it. We have a Solarmatic DP100 electric hair dryer. Like what year do you think this is, Mike? I would say the 1950s, maybe the 60s, because you see those on all those old movies where the women are sitting there getting their hair done. I'm waiting to see a snake in something. Snake! <laughs> Didn't fall for it. Dude, you've got to come and look. It's just light bulbs inside there. Yeah. Go, go look at that. I think it's light bulbs and a fan, maybe, of some sort to blow some air. Oh, a Singer sewing machine something? What the heck is that? A Ford 5.0 liter motor down what there. What is that? Oh, is this, that's not a hand sewer thing, is it? Or is it the thing that goes under the sewing machine? It goes, sewing under. Machine? It goes under the sewing machine. What the the heck? section, I think. Look at this stuff. Oh, a steamer? I love these, watch. Isn't that satisfying? All right, enough goofing around here, kid. But I can't help it, there's so many weird things over here. And right. you haven't even looked in the backyard. Is it crazy back there? Watch out for a massive fire ant hill. Yep, they will bite. They will bite. I can test to that. So you were telling me that the neighbor kid is over here telling the See, full story with this, this guy. This, this is day five of tools. Day five. Holy moly. Of the tools that he's gotten out of this one shed in the back. Jeez. Oh, look at that bike. Yes. Lawnmowers, <laughs> pressure washers, just various stuff. I mean, stuff. table saw that That's still has the wood down there from where it was used. Stuff. At least two or three boats. Need a boat? With a six horsepower Evinrude motor on it. Pressure washer? Oh, got know. your I riding lawnmower? There's an old riding lawnmower back there. Hey, got a pool. Uh, black iron working equipment. Old air conditioners removed at some point in time. There's just stuff. <laughs> How's it going? So you're the neighbor guy, yeah? Yeah, I live two houses down. Jimmy. All the cars in the back. How's it going? Good to meet you. Good meeting you. He bought uh, that shed okay. with, all, with all the stuff in it. And he's been working for a week now, getting just two, tools. About two days. Two days. Yeah. So you, Brian, the son, so you you just said, hey, I'll give you a hundred bucks for the shed or I don't know well, how much you paid he, for it. But... I saw the car on Facebook and I was like, oh, that's my neighbor. So I came over here because my mom was interested in the camper and she ended up buying it trying to get to that because it's kind of buried right now um, and then we were talking and I came back here and I was like well, what are what's in these sheds because so you can start 10 lawn lawn businesses in that yeah, shed right like, there there's yeah, like the... 20 weed whackers in there and there's like four in there and I don't know a guy who's an eclectic I guess you just collected stuff yeah okay so I got a quick question for yeah. you pop quiz mm -hmm. do you ever watch YouTube yeah he told me who you were I saw two of your videos one before he told me who you were, it oh, okay. was the, it's the 210 or the 310, the silver with the mm -hmm. two engines. Yeah. Um, and then uh, after he told me, my mom was over here, I went and showed her your newest video, the one in the plane in Texas that was going to a school. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I've okay. always been into airplanes, but uh, I'd never really got around to it. Um, my great grandpa on my mom's, no, my, my dad's side, he uh, had an airport in um, Ohio. Well, that's awesome. So I got to ask you a question. Mm -hmm. You're more car YouTube guy, I'm guessing. Right. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Who's your favorite car YouTube channel? It was Roadkill before they moved to Motor Trend. Yeah. I still watch them. Yeah. But um, either Junkyard Digs or Dylan McCool, Chris Birdsong and Junker Up. Um, okay. That 58 Plymouth I have in the backyard, I bought from him. Um, oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. Met him and uh, this other guy, Vlad. Uh, can't quite remember his YouTube, but he does YouTube too. And he got uh, Chris into YouTube. Um, so they're both out in Arizona and Las Vegas area. What's your name again? Austin. Austin. Yep. All right. Well, Jimmy, pleasure to meet you, man. Nice meeting you. So, all right. Well, it's deciding to rain on us again. Yeah. It Let's does that. see if we can get keys and then see if we can get that thing moved or see if it's got voltage or we can get a 
the extension cord for a charger or something. Good meeting you, Austin. All right, on the lanyard, he said, those are just house keys. Doubt it, but we'll give it a shot. It doesn't look right. Honestly, the key to that lawnmower right there is probably closer to what we're gonna need. Yeah, yeah, I, none of these are gonna be it. They're all just house keys. I got a couple of different options of keys here that I brought with me today. Here, let's just. <laughs> all right, these, what do you got? Any of these might work. I got locks, cabinet locks, hitch locks. Let's see if we can find something that fits. See, like that, I think is close. No way! <laughs> the first key! Dude, check. Dude, th that actually turned. First key that we tried off of his key ring. Look at that. <laughs> it actually turned it. Oh yeah, just forward and reverse. Reverse. 3,642 miles. Hey, that's like a brand new chicken. Oh. And I learned, that's funny, chicken. <laughs> this defroster switch. Turns on electric heater. No, no, it's not hooked up to anything. From the factory, none of these have any sort of defroster at all whatsoever. The transportation whatever thing. Re required. Requires a defroster switch, not an actual <laughs> defroster. <laughs> so in order for them to get a road legal thing and to pass whatever, you know, thing they had back then they just had to put the switch in it they didn't it's not it there's no wires connected to the back of that i cannot believe this actually has a key in it oh lord have mercy what that is so heavy mirror mirror on the wall who's got the coolest car of all this guy and you can't lean on this or else that whole thing squishes. One thing we're not gonna need, gas jugs, cause it's electric. Boogie, woogie, woogie. Dude, this is like legit sewing machine. Wow. People watching this right now are probably freaking out because this is probably some crazy like $10,000 sewing machine that I'm just throwing around and I don't even have any idea what it is. And comments are, ah, how can you do that to a sewing machine like that? Such a whatever, whatever thing. I don't know. Now do you think the floor jack is gonna work? Found this sitting over in the, in the thing. Anybody? Oh, oh, maybe. This thing's only rated for two tons. Do you think it'll be enough? That was a joke. Oh, and there. Oh, there we go. <laughs> wow. Good night. We, we found a jack in a box <laughs> that's funny i didn't even plan that so okay we got we got them up a little bit of a flat spot on this one Almost. <laughs> oh that's what i was going to tell you so the brakes that are on the front of this are the same brakes from a cessna 172. all right we got some bets mike how many of these tires do you think are gonna hold air? Two. Two of the four. I'm gonna say one. How many uh, tires do you guys think it'll, it'll hold? Silas, how many do you think air will hold? Not like pump it all the way up, but enough to like, what, 10, Rich. 15 PSI or something for us to be able to roll this thing out of here. I'm going like You're going two? All right, well, let's, let's see what you got. 
Do you have more batteries? Mm -hmm. Okay, because you're you're probably gonna need <laughs> here, and this is really the tail call right here is whenever that tire lifts away from the dirt. Sounds like the air's coming out somewhere else. So that's... Oh, yeah, I can see the inside of the, the whim right here. All right. So, ought, not nothing, zip, zilch, not a thing. However, I think I've got a possible solution from the old China Mart. What I've been told is that these are the same 12 inch four lug wheels they sell at Harbor Freight for like wheelbarrows or little trailers. And there's a Harbor Freight only about four miles from here. Okay, we need a 12 inch four lug. What are those? These are four lug. Yeah, how big are those? These are those are eight inch, yeah. so 12 inch. This one. That's a five lug. That's a four lug. Four by eight by 12, that's the ones we need right there. And I only see one. Hmm. Well, boys, strike out on the tires. They only had one, and we called around like 10 different places trying to find another one. Can't find them anywhere. So we're gonna go look at puppies. Oh my goodness, Jack. Yeah. I'm gonna little razor teeth. A stinking dog is 2,600 bucks. What? He is cute though. Who's me? Oh, yes, Yes, you can both come home with me. <laughs> I will have to sell my car, but you can come home with me and sleep in, and we will cuddle and go on walks, and I will squeeze you and hold you and love you forever. <laughs> He's gonna destroy me. Yes, we should get a dog. Put in the comments below to talk my wife into letting us have a puppy dog. <laughs> Oh, that's better. I feel better. I love puppy therapy. You gotta, we're just gonna go back and we're gonna see if we can't redneck engineer those tires to get some air back in them. Enough to get it up onto the trailer because I didn't realize it's missing several key components to make that thing move. Uh, so we got some ratchet straps. We got some a lighter and some hairspray. I think we can get some air in those tires. What do you think, Mike? Maybe so. Yeah? Maybe so. Think we can get her done? and get her done. All right, we're going to try. Throwing down some Arby's. Silas, you got a half pound sandwich? What? If you don't eat all that, you you got to do the dishes every day for a week. How are you doing? Thanks. <laughs> Mounting down some Arby's here. Now, we got some crinkle cut guys. These guys, weirdos. And then you got the spicy, the, uh, the curly fries. I'm a curly fry guy. Pretty good Silas, did you eat the whole thing? I mean, most of it. Little red. No, you did. There's the whole sandwich in there. I don't have the stuff fell out. He's got dishes duty for the next week. Already do. Took one of the wheels off, and they have them at Harbor Freight, but Harbor Freight only had one. And none of them would take air. We tried, none of them could take air. So I guess Austin, the kid that lives a couple houses down, we, I don't know if he's still over here or not, but because he's, he's got, apparently got like works on cars and stuff. So I assume that he has a bigger air compressor. So we're gonna see if we can take these over there and if they'll get any air with his air compressor okay. instead of this little one that we have here. Okay. So just enough to try to get this thing to roll it up in there. Yeah. And we've got some straps some old school way to put the strap around the tire and ratchet strap it together. Yeah, it's uh, got some little flat spots on it. <laughs> and I was amazed that this thing even rolls. The other one was pretty hard to get moving, but yeah, that is, that's rough. 
Do you got a ratchet strap? A ratchet strap? Yeah. yeah. Ratchet strap trick. Put it around the tire. There we go. Okay. Oh, there we go. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, hold on, I don't want this freaking strap. This is a lot of pressure on that thing. All right, go ahead. Are they going up now? Nice. Why didn't we try this an hour ago? Hey, all right. Wait, so does this win the bet then? Is how many of these tires are gonna hold air? All right, that's good. Yeah, that's good. 16. What's the, what's the max pressure on these? I don't, rotten. Rotten. <laughs> Old school tricks, man. Throw the rapid, ratchet strap around the tire and just throw the air to it and see what you can get. And miraculously, okay, there's one out of four. So I guess. Yes, sir. Leave it on there. Let's throw the strap on it. Yeah. Okay, that's easy yeah. work on the floor. Yeah, all right. I'm just trying to overcomplicate things. Make things more difficult than they need to be. Small flat spot. Mm -hmm. that's, that's squirting down the tire. <laughs> And all over me, thanks. Oh, sorry about that. There we go. Is that kind of? Yeah. Woo! I don't want to go any more than that. Yeah. Oh. Anything? Nothing yet. Anything? Uh, I see it blowing out down there. I'll tell you what, see if we can loosen that strap up, see if we can bend this back out. And then try it. Because that's the other one was loosened for a while. Watch your fingers, watch out. I'm watching. Do you want to put some more of that lube stuff yeah. down in there and oh. oh there you Yeah. All right. Hey, he doesn't have trailers back there, does he? Because if that's just a trailer tire, let's go see if that's the same size tire it's on these things. That's not it. Those are way smaller. Those are bicycle wheels. There's a trailer. Those are way smaller, and that's a car tire. Blah. The neighbor has a trailer. Do you think they'll notice if we're missing those tires? And we just switch them? No, don't do that. Well, do we just want to grab that 4x4 right there and let the wheels sit down on that? A three-wheeled with two... That. <laughs> I guess just to sit it on. We also have your jack. Mm -hmm. We can just take your jack over there and okay. see what we can do, huh? Does that wheel roll at all? Uh, this one? Yeah, is it seized or will it roll? I don't know. The other one was pretty tight too. I think if we had a regular air compressor, these would probably seat. How's over there?
keep going. All right, watch out. And I'm going to stick it on this front one here. No. Oh, I said one, huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Are we going to try to uh, ratchet this thing? Let's give it a shot real quick for you. Moment of truth. Taking side bets. Oh, that didn't help. I don't have any. Nothing. <sighs> you remind me of those videos that you see in Cambodia of the people that <laughs> yeah, like get stuff built. out of the ocean and then redo and, it oh, in flip flops. The guy rebuilt that boat motor. Yeah. I watched the whole thing. All right, so did I. And I'm still trying to figure out why. It was kind of neat though. All those barnacles and stuff on it. And he cleaned and cleaned and cleaned. Oh, what do you use for cleaner? Could be worse. It could be raining. Oh wait, I kind of wonder if like two of us could just lift up the back of this thing and <laughs> roll it in. I mean, honestly, if we just took the batteries out of it, that's half of the weight of this whole thing is those batteries. Oh yeah. That's a much better job. Yeah. So the real question becomes, right in the center. well, Ooh. it's got the differential right there. So I have a low profile one. Uh, I'll jack it up on one side oh, and we can throw it, throw it on there. Yeah. I don't even know how, where are you even? Ready, go. Oh, is it rolling? Yeah, it's rolling. Oh, nice. Oh, Lord of mercy. Oh, oh that, Here, hold on, let's get that tire is not rolling. Oh, no. oh, wait, it's caught under this, on this tray. Ready, one, two, three, go. Ah. So now I, I can't see where anything here could possibly go wrong. We uh, put it on the old floor jack here, jacked it up, and now we're just gonna see what we can do. Off the ground. Oh yeah, don't push up there, huh? Um, oh yeah. Something. Uh, the lip in the concrete. Oh, the jack. Oh, yeah. I'll lift it up with some tad. All right. Yeah. All right, let's get, get rid of that freaking thing. Where'd that other jack go? I think your jack needs more jack oil. Well, it's not doing anything. Uh-oh. It's there. Should be good now. Yeah, go Move ahead and jack it up. Make contact. Okay. Down the tire, the wheel that fell off of that thing. Okay, let's see how far we can get now. Can you just, uh, steering? Okay. Okay, now do we have Jacksonville 6 News, three rednecks try to move a car inside a trailer, one has a leg severed off, news at 6. Like this is Florida man level stuff. Oh yeah. I'm digging it. We got a riding lawnmower, a come along a chain, an electric car inside of a... a uh, what do you uh, like a landscaping trailer? This is yes. Well, the first thing we got to do over here, Austin, before you start anything, you got to give us a clear prop. Oh, you know it. All right, let's hear it up. Clear prop. There you go. Fire that thing up. Let's go. Because this is not a bad idea at all. 
Hold on, hold on. He's ready to go. Stand by. Don't rock this thing, dude. It's oh. gonna fall off back here. Okay. I wouldn't. You're you're in the Navy. You know better than to stand over a rope. Okay. Whatever. Something's gonna chop your leg off. Yeah. All right. We need to go that way with it. Uh. Stand by. Oh, it was coming. Yeah, watch out. There we go. This is such a bad idea. Dude, if this works, we're going into business as car haulers. All right, yeah, almost. Yeah. A little more. One more, a little. Oh! Okay, now we gotta get it up on the ramp. Do you think that thing is strong enough you won't tear up the... Do you think your lawnmower's got enough weight and that thing's strong enough to just drag this up there? I mean, if we push, it what might be. we push it at the same time? Yeah. Let's try it. All right, hold on. Uh, do we have any plywood or any uh, yeah. anything I got one piece of that we two by four? Hold on. Hang on, what's that? Two by four, is something we can stick under there so that I don't want this thing just sliding off of that jack. Yeah, that that would work. All right, ready? Nice and easy. Right. Such a bad idea. Ah. 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 Wheel needs to go to the right. Hold on, hold on. Ah. Where are we at on that side? We got plenty of room over here. You're good. Oh, we got plenty of room over here. All right. All right. Ah. Ah. Slippery. He ain't pulling. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right, you're in. Yeah, we've got to go a little bit more to get over the tire. No. No, you're no we're good. You're good. Perfect. <laughs> Holy crap! That thing fit in there. And with the riding snapper lawnmower power thing. Florida man. How? That's some hashtag Florida man power. Oh, that's fantastic. Not I mean, we got tons of room. And when we get to my house, I can just hook that chain to my Humvee. And pull it out. That's what I'm saying, and you just drive away. Just drive away. We're just freaking, yeah. Uh, let's load this thing up, and then now we just gotta drive four hours back Absolutely. south. Absolutely. And uh, we still gotta unload the stupid thing. Well, at least it's not raining. Made our run Circle K, get some Cajun peanuts. What'd you get? Uh, Mountain Dew. Hey, there you go. Silas, what'd you grab? Water and Cheeto Puffs. Yeah. Dinner of champions right there. That's what I'm talking about. Silas? Hey. Don't tell your mother. My understanding is your brother was diabetic as well, and we were chatting on the way here, and he passed away, and he had had it for most of his life. Is that right? Correct. David was a typical, ordinary little five-year-old, and uh, one night he got sick and uh, woke up in the morning. He was very 
uh, lethargic. They took him to the hospital and that was the first day he was a diabetic. So from that day forward, he always had his shots. He passed away in 2015 and he was 42. 42 yeah. years old. He had um, several issues with heart conditions, liver issues. Was that all transplant. related to the diabetes? E everything was related to diabetes. He was a very fit he tried uh, exercising and he did everything he could to prolong his life. Diet? Diet. He wasn't overweight. Um, he went to the gym. Did he eat and, fast food? Uh, sometimes, but most of the time he ate really well. He, he ate a good food. He was, he, you looked at him, you wouldn't know he was a diabetic until the last couple of years because it just it kind of caught up with him and then when his heart started going that was the thing he could no longer exercise and he couldn't do anything couldn't work anymore um, and then his liver had issues his kidneys had issues he was on dialysis three times a week and finally the heart took him out there's different types of diabetes type 1 type 2 that kind of thing and I don't know the difference well one type is you create it yourself overweight bad diet, not exercise, you can take pills and you can actually revert back to normal. And change your diet. Change your and diet and not, kind of and not have to take pills. Um, basically my understanding back in the 70s is once you're on the shots, you're on the shots for the rest of your life. So he no longer, his body no longer would create any insulin. So oh, wow. his system just shut down for what reason we have no idea. He wasn't sick, he didn't act a problem the day before. But when a child starts to show he was sick, wouldn't understand what was going on, um, he drank water, Coke, all night long. So the more they fed him... And that was just, it happened, boom, all of a all sudden, sudden, one time, all he was just sudden. could not get enough to drink and drink and everything. Super thirsty that night, and then by morning time, his eyes were sunk back in his head, and his um, sugar level in his blood was off the charts. They said he should have been in a diabetic coma by the time they got him to the hospital. Holy crap. So, uh, and it was just immediate. And the more they gave him fluids, he didn't drink water. Some of it was water, but most of it was Coke or Sprite or something else because they thought he was sick. So they were actually making it worse mm. by morning, so. So yeah, over just, boom, overnight, he was five years old. Yes. That same age as Noah, that's crazy. Absolutely. And just one night, boom, hit him. And then he passed away at the age of 42. He, and he gave it a good fight, um, and it's it's tough. It's really tough. Um, you can't think about going to eat dinner, go out to eat dinner. Um, it's really you go sit down in places. You have to watch everything, everything, the foods that are made, how they're how they're made, how they're made processed sugars, regular sugars, all of those affect your blood sugar. Mm -hmm. So even something you wouldn't think normally would be bad for you, is really is. Like um, what? what? Orange juice. You think orange juice? You know, orange juice is good. Uh, but orange juice has a lot of sugars, uh, natural sugars in it. Um, apples have lots of regular sugar in it. So you would eat some things if your sugar level goes down, and then you have to eat other things if your sugar level gets up. That's just crazy. So, and then fight it with, you know, extra shots. Now, the last couple of years, he had the little side thing here that was automatically giving him insulin throughout the day and monitor it. And there's still no cure. Still no cure uh, to this day. There's just treatment for it. It's it's a uh, it's a tough disease. It's a tough yeah, disease. That's, that's tough. And yeah, you don't think about the family, right? Right. You think about the Individual. the person and their struggle with it, and you don't realize that it changes the entire house. Absolutely. And there was five kids. There was five of us. Whew. So man. Um, yeah. No was, more Fruit Loops in the house. Um, there were some, but for the first <laughs> first year or so, we didn't have a lot of stuff in there because. Remember, you know, he was five, six years old. It's really tough for him to know he can't have Fruit Loops anymore or know he can't have that Hershey bar anymore. And um, my family, we owned a little grocery store, convenience store. And for him to walk, I can't imagine it, but for him to walk in the store and walk down the candy aisle had to be torture for him when he was a kid, you mm -hmm. know. Um, and he never complained. That was the thing is he never complained about it, um, not missing those candy bars or... If he get a little piece of a candy bar because the sugar was low or something, you'd see the glow on his face just to try to help him out. But yeah, man, what would it mean to you as we try to get this car cleaned up, spruced up, working again, and the whole time just creating some awareness for diabetes? Um, I, I believe that's that any awareness whatsoever to help out. Um, there's monies and grants the government's got. They they continue to work every day, uh, but. The average person 
doesn't understand, doesn't really know unless it affects your family. Um, and if we can get more people to understand, maybe more people would give to help out diabetes. So mm -hmm. maybe we could find a cure sooner um, to fix that problem. So I'd love to see it, you know, we we'll get it done, get it fixed, <laughs> get it running. And um, what are your plans with it? Well, at this point, to get my parking spot back. <laughs> And the rain is still going outside. <laughs> yeah, that's right, yeah. The fundraiser up in the corner of the screen you guys see, I don't see one penny of that. Every penny of that that you guys give goes straight to that charity. Uh, we're simply doing this because uh, the request of the son, Brian, for his dad, Richard, that passed away from diabetes, other families that have suffered through it and are currently suffering you know, what little bit we can do with this Jimmy's world to make the world a little bit better of a place and I mean do it with some do it with some flair, you know, some some fun ways because you know, we uh, we all die. Not not everybody can get out of this thing alive. There's right. a there's greater than a ninety percent chance we're all gonna die at some point. Yeah. But how we live, that's where my heart is, is I want us to all live to the greatest potential we absolutely can. So anything we can do to help people with diabetes so that they can live an extended and a full life, I am fully about that. Mike, thank you so much for sharing your story. Thank you guys for being a part of this whole crazy journey that we here call Jimmy's World. I guess the next step is this thing needs a bath. And I'm Surprised you're touching the car without gloves on. You're, you're a brave man. Oh my goodness, look at that. He was just touching the thing. That's crazy. Well, let's go find somebody to help us detail this thing up. Absolutely. All right. Boom. <laughs> no way. Nintendo thing. You have no idea if it works or not, but. I would be surprised if that worked. That is so cool. That was made when That's, men were men and sheep were scared. <laughs> I thought it was going to be like plastic. All plastic. That's heavy. That's plastic. Japanese plastic, not the Chinese. Oh, wow. We still have an original NES that we play all the time. The one I got in 1989. So we can try that on our original, actual Nintendo. Anytime I'm flying my airplane, I have to have these flying eyes because this little thing right here, super skinny, gets under the headphones, seals it up nicely. And lifetime guaranteed. Use the code Jimmy's World, save yourself 10% and help keep these old birds flying. Jimmy World approved.